Argentina won its independence as the United Provinces of Rio de la Plata in 1810 and had struggled to set up its new government. The country was run by the Blancos and the Federales, a conservative political party set by the Argentine liberals. However, there were other political parties like the Unitarians and even the less popular Colorados, who were more left of the political spectrum. They were frustrated with the poor representation in Argentina and wanted to push more French liberal reforms, which are more on the left of the spectrum. Civil war broke out in 1814, when the Unitarios and Colorados rose up and began to denounce the conservative government in Argentina. Both sides got support. The left-wing Unitarians got support from Brazil. France and the United Kingdom, while the right-wing Federales got support from Paraguay. Also that year, the Federales, an ally of the Blancos, became one of the most powerful political parties and consisted in modern-day Uruguay. The two fought the Colorados and the Unitarios, which consisted of protests and revolutions, and no real advancements were made until 1826, when Argentina fell in yet another civil war. This time, the Unitarios were very popular in the North, as the Federales more popular in central Argentina. Argentina was later reconstructed a year later, but in 1829, Argentina fell into yet another civil war. The Federales and the Unitarians continued to clash until the Argentine Confederation was established in 1831. Argentina was yet thrown in another streak of chaos when the Unitarians rose up in the West, but they, they were too also crushed. These protests and skirmishes continue until 1880 when the federal constitution is signed, ending the civil wars, introduced federalism into Argentina, but the nation would also remain a place of war as right-wing liberal leaders take power later on.